so this is problem 2 on uh, parallelogram law of forces go through the problem the sum of two concurrent forces p and q is 500 newton okay solution the sum of two concurrent forces p and q means p plus q is 500 newton and their resultant is 400 newton r is equal to 400 newton if the resultant is perpendicular to p find p p and q and angle between p and q we have to find the magnitude of the forces and the angle between both the forces p and q and there is one condition that is the resultant force is perpendicular to p okay i'll write the diagram for this so what i will do is i will write a force p horizontally okay so that i can write perpendicular to force p as resultant force force p okay he says that resultant is perpendicular to p resultant force is perpendicular to p okay so let me write another force q on the other direction okay so p plus q is equal to 500 newton resultant force is perpendicular to the force p so we have to find magnitude of force p and q and we have to find angle between the force p and q so this angle theta that is the question okay now what i will do is i will join this q r and p by a dotted line okay now so whatever the magnitude of uh, q we have on this side on this side we will have the same magnitude on the other side correct we will have the same magnitude on the other side so i am applying parallel law of forces here okay if two forces are acting at a point are represented by two adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the resultant is represented by diagonal of the parallelogram passing through the point of intersection. So I have applied parallelogram law of forces. Now here we know that the resultant force is perpendicular to the P. So it is a right angle triangle, correct? So it is a right angle triangle. So we will apply Pythagoras theorem. Okay. If I apply Pythagoras theorem from figure from figure q square is equal to so here the magnitude is p square plus r square r square therefore q square minus p square is equal to r square so it is in the form of a square minus b square we will expand this a plus p into a minus p q plus p into q minus p is equal to r square is equal to r square okay that resultant force is given it is given as 400 newton substitute and p plus q sum of both the forces is also given 500 newton that is also you substitute so p plus q is 500 into q minus p is equal to 400 square okay now if you solve for q minus p, you will get the q minus p is equal to 400 square by 500. That value that you will get it as 320. 320. Okay. You can call this as equation number 2. And p plus q as equation number 1. Now we can solve both equations and we will get the value of p and the q. Okay. Now adding, adding equation 1 and 2. What is the equation 1? P plus Q is equal to 500 Newton. So I will write that as Q plus P is equal to 500. Second equation is Q minus P is equal to 320 plus P minus P gets cancelled. 2Q is equal to 820. Therefore Q is equal to 820 divided by 2, 410. 410. 
newton now you got the value of q you can get the value of q p so substitute in this equation p plus q is equal to 500 now therefore p plus we know that p plus q is equal to 500 newton therefore p plus 400 is equal to 500 therefore p is equal to 500 minus 400 100 newton okay now we got the magnitude of force p and force q there is one more question to find the angle between p and q theta okay so for that uh, we will use the resultant equation we know that r is equal to root of p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta okay so here uh, instead of writing f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta so uh, I, have, I, I have modified the formula as p square plus q square plus 2pq cos theta as per this particular problem okay resultant force uh, how much magnitude magnitude of the resultant force is 400 newton it is given okay magnitude of the force 400 newton is equal to p, p is 4 10 newton uh, and uh, uh, sorry here q is equal to 4 10 newton so uh, i substitute substituted as 400 so 410 so it becomes 90 newton p is equal to p is equal to 90 newton so instead of uh, substituting 410 i have substituted 400 earlier so i corrected it it is 410 so p becomes equal to 90 newton so r is equal to root of p square 90 square plus q square is how much 410 square 410 square plus 2 into 90 into 410 cos theta okay now theta is only the unknown parameter okay if you square on both sides okay and if you do the simplification then the final final angle theta that you get is 102.6 degree okay 102.6 so to this we got uh, magnitude of p and q and the angle theta okay so this completes the problem thank you